Hi guys, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my video today. I've got Mum in my craft room with me. Do you want to say hello, Mum? Hi! She's pottering around um, decorating some envelopes, so if you hear any other sounds going on, it's my mum. Um, I'm going to be showing you today this last of my Valentine's projects for the week. This is just a nice sweet take on Sam from Pootles. She done a box um, very similar with an acetate window um, and a different um, closing on the end. So I've just um, done this, the measurements slightly different to fit this Lint uh, Lindor um, milk chocolate bar, which I'm going to be giving my daddy. So um, he'll watch this video because he always watches my videos and uh, hopefully it'll make him smile. So. Um, I've done these um, brads on the end of my box, which I actually covered with uh, my heat embossing um, glitter uh, with the Versamark, something I hadn't done before, but I didn't have any gold brads. And I covered these red ones here, which I'm going to be showing you. Um, so they're just like that, and I just dipped them in the glitter. Hoped for the best, and it turned out really well. So I'll be showing you that, um, but the rest of it is really straightforward. So let's crack on. So you will need, let's bring these pieces over here, um, a pre-cut decoration for the top. So any heart decoration you've got, you don't even have to put that on there. You might want to do something completely different. But I've got this one here, which was just an X-cut um, nest of hearts. And then some smaller little hearts here from a stitching uh, stamp set from Stamping Up. So just a nice little decoration there so if you want to get those um, ready you can do I've done them um, just to make the video a bit faster put them to one side and then the card you need to grab your scoreboard the card you need needs to measure three and three quarters of an inch by nine and one quarters of an inch and you're going to be scoring along the three and three quarters of an inch and you're going to score at one inch one and three fours of an inch, two and three fours of an inch, and three and a half inches. And then you'll just have that little lip on the edge, and that's where you're going to be adding your adhesive to seal the box. Okay, so that's all you need, all your scoring done. Sorry. Um, okay, so what we need to do is burnish all of our sides. Let me just grab my tool. So do that carefully so it doesn't crack. And that last piece there. Okay, so if you just want to grab your um, double sided tape, if you've got this red tape and the real thin stuff, this is perfect for this piece because it's obviously quite a small. Um, tab that you've got there. So you just need to add that. Like so, and then if you just want to just slightly just take off a little bit of the edges there, just shear off the sides. It just make it a bit better when you close. And then if you fold that piece in and that piece in, it will perfectly. It and you can get a really nice finish, okay? Like so. So, there you go, already, and um, the box is almost done. So, what you want to do now is um, pop your chocolate or whatever it is that you're going to be gifting inside, and just roughly just feel put your fingers in both ends and just where it's kind of central um, so that you can if I do this side first. You just want to just slightly pull in the sides pushing the side sorry and just push that bit down like so okay and again with that end there just pushing the sides like that and just play around with it a little bit but you will have that finish okay then you need your hole punch so any of these kind of hole punches is great I've got one that is bigger but you don't want to use that one with the brad, so you literally just want the smallest. You can see this one here, it's got a really small hole. So that will fit the brad in nicely without it kind of wobbling around. So just pinch one of the edges together there. And central as you can get it, like so. Don't worry if it leaves a little indent or anything, because your brad will cover that anyway. So 
and then the same with this one. There we go. Okay, so that's that bit done. So leave that to one side now. Now I'm just going to show you these two um, brads that I'm going to heat emboss. So I've just got the um, the glitter um, embossing powder and some of the Versamark. And literally all I did, the tweezers as well, is just dab it on the Versamark and then just push it inside. Oh, try not to make a mess. Just tap it on the edge and you'll see that it's perfectly covered that bit there. Grab my tweezers. Oh, sorry, my stomach's rumbling. Okay, so just turn on, let that heat up for a minute. Put the lid on that, I don't want that all blowing everywhere. Okay. Oh, you can see that there. Okay, so you can see there, that's taken really easily and really nicely. And there you go. So that is a revelation for me today, something new that I've um, taught myself. So no doubt now I'll be changing the colours of everything and um, not panicking so much when I don't have exact colours because I've got quite a few colours in the powders. So um, yeah, I think it's great. So I'm just going to do that one exactly the same way. Again, there we go. Okay, without burning my hands, remember to put it on that. Again, there we go. Just let it set just for a few seconds. It does dry pretty instantly, but I have caught the odd ones before. I'll just leave those two. There we go. Okay, just clear this out of the way. Glitter on everything now. Okay, and there you go. So what we need to do now is just add these onto the edge. So obviously make sure you've got your chocolate inside. Put that one. Oh, my stomach's rumbling, it's time for lunch. I'll just turn that one slightly like that. And again, that one there. There we go. Okay, so all you need to do now is just decorate the top. So I've got these three pieces here and I'm just going to use a couple of um, dimensionals which I've cut down really, really small. Because obviously the dies are very delicate. I'll just use those ones there. Just get my pokey tool. Mum, can you pass me that one? Thank you. Okay. Add that on the back. Actually, I'll leave that one first. I need to put this big one in first. Sorry, so I know where I am in the centre. I'll use this one here. So I just popped one up in that bit there. There we go. So let's just get the back, yeah. Just line that up like so. And then that one gonna go there and this one. Oh. Use that one to one side. Oh. Hold on, I'm so got stuck. Again, place that one like so. There we go. Done.
really quick, really effective and I think perfect for Valentine's Day. There we go. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button and to see more of my designs, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.